So let's have a look at question number six. Now when I look at the algorithm as expressed with loops like this, I actually go and I draw myself a picture and then I think of how to step through uh, the matrix as I execute the algorithm. So let's have a look at how one might visualize that. Okay, so here we have the algorithm and I decided to get fancy and use PowerPoint to create an animation. So what we have is a matrix A, a vector X, and a vector Y. Now we're going to add two vector Y, so we're going to indicate that with the plus equals here. If you look at the outer loop, what that really says is that at some point we've marched through the matrix up to the jth column, and we're going to operate then with the jth element of uh, x. Here is our xj. And notice that sometimes we address a as aij and sometimes as aji. And what that means is that we really should think of our matrix looking like this, where we have identified the jth column and the jth row. And then when we execute this first i loop, we march through the vector y, we go to the appropriate element in A, we think of the element in A mirrored with respect to the diagonal, we multiply that times xj, and then we add that to the red dot in y right here. So this entire loop is now executed as animated right here. Then we hit the diagonal, that's when i is equal to j, and we switch to this loop, and we march through the rest of the elements. Now if you look carefully at what we do, we multiply the jth column of a by the jth element of x, and we add that to the vector y. The only thing is, part of the jth column of a, we really address as the first part of the jth row of A. And this is where the symmetry in, ma in the matrix comes in. So it appears that we're working with a symmetric matrix where the entries of the symmetric matrix are only stored in the lower triangle. Now, we could also look at it this way, where we're starting to see the partition repartition in the vectors X and Y and matrix A. And if we then lay this next to the algorithm, which is all the way at the end of your exam, you should be able to recognize the different pieces of the matrix and the vectors with which we operate. So, what does this mean? This means that it appears that the algorithm is performing a matrix vector multiply a times x plus y, where y is symmetric and is stored only in the lower triangular part. But, if you think about it very carefully, this right here takes the lower triangular part of A and creates a symmetric matrix from it, and then multiplies that times X and adds it to Y. So, this is an alternative correct answer. There are two correct answers to this particular question.